Hi, good morning to all. This is myself, Vishal Prajapati. Uh, I am going to teach you chemistry. First of all, hope you all are fine in this uh, lockdown situation. Now I am trying to make uh, some of the videos regarding uh, your chemistry board level, uh, center, mainly central board level educations. Uh, for that, uh, firstly, this some of the advice you are not asking to me, but uh, I think uh, I have to share with you, guys. Uh, so after completing your 10th standards, everybody wants to. Uh, they have a, a specific dream for that. So you know, they have to be a doctor, yeah, engineer. They want to get uh, to get admission in some MBBS, yeah, IIT, etc. But for that, uh, keep in your mind your textbook is most important. Your board textbook, your board textbook is most important. It's nowadays, there are so many coaching classes, so many immense type of companies are uh, going over there. They are growing. There is so much growing. Uh, they are, you know, uh, they they are not following the textbook. They are giving their uh, uh, material and etc. And uh, we are just to put it the uh, textbooks at the aside. But because of that, you will not be a perfect fundamental knowledge about uh, chemistry. Yeah, any of the subjects. For each and every subject, your board textbook is very much important. So that is my humble request that uh, just uh, follow your textbook. Uh, try to make sure uh, each and every line, each and every concept must be clear from your textbook. Firstly, then after you have to follow a different, different uh, uh, plan it's uh, different materials etc either it's uh, from lena cars uh, yeah, both raya etc any of the uh, you, you can join any of the uh, institutes for that uh, any of the co uh, coaching classes for that but uh, keep it in your mind everybody cannot be achieved uh, and maybe as goal yeah iit goals for that for you how to be a good ordinary students you know be a good ordinary extraordinary skills if, in, if, in, if in, with you extraordinary skills then you will be achieved 100 percent but if you are ordinary then for that you have to first complete your board uh, books here i am going to 100 uh, percent through uh, your central board textbook and some of the uh, you know uh, required things is are uh, adding but uh, 100 percent try to make a uh, easy learning for you and uh, now i am going to start in your first chapter some basic concept of chemistry guys uh, mainly chemistry in early in the morning wake up early in the morning you'll uh, start uh, your toothbrush yeah the toothpaste uh, any of things things that uh, there are so many uh, chemical reactions are that so each and every time we are facing a uh, chemistry here and there everywhere for chemistry there are mainly four branches is that the physical chemistry in organic chemistry organic chemistry and analytical chemistry in organic chemistry uh, you'll study about only uh, carbon and their derivatives in inorganic chemistry except the carbons the chemistry is there that is the inorganic chemistry exceptional the carbonates and allotropes of carbon uh, allotropes allotropes no? yeah diamond graphite those are the allotropes of carbon those are uh, included in, in organic chemistry then after physical chemistry react and react with each other and product will be formed at that time what will be effect of temperature what will be the effect of pressure etc will be uh, studied in physical chemistry part in the analytical chemistry matlab, uh, if you have uh, one of the substances that like a phenol in that substance how much amount of a particular uh, elements yes yeah, substances there so that for the, for that you have to follow in analytical so mainly this four branches is that rather than there are many different different branches is that like a nano uh, nano uh, chemistry nanotechnology in chemistry biotechnology it's all about the uh, part of chemistry but mainly this four branches our uh, chemistry is distributed in this more uh, mainly four branches now uh, today we are learning about the some basic concept of chemistry uh, see the next slide yeah 
this one is the first line here for uh, central board textbook is that chemistry is the science of the molecules and their transformations chemistry is the science of molecules and their transformations it's a science not so much of the 100 elements it's not about the 100 elements but the infinite varieties of molecules that may be a built from them matlab chemistry jo hai wo only 100 koi 100 elements ke around ka science nahi hai because of that uh, 100 uh, elements the variety of molecules will be formed and there are so many different different chemical reactions will be there different different varieties is there uh, around the world there are so many people are living but uh, the characteristics are different the so same way here uh, those so 100 more than 100 elements nowadays uh, we have found uh, and their characteristics are different their reactions are different their physical properties are different it's all about the chemistry so Rod Hoffman's given uh, given this treatment and uh, somebody is, uh, says that the Rod Hoffman is the father of chemistry now next slide mainly uh, first of introduction uh, we'll uh, go slowly uh, first in the first lectures after that whenever you will be used to then we will go ahead very fast uh, and I'll give you assurance that the whenever I will finish the board uh, portions of your chapter, then I'll post, I'll try to post your G or need level some of the examples and uh, questions, the MCQs for that. But uh, firstly, the main aspect is that you have to first clear your board examinations uh, textbook. I think you can understand. Now, yeah, chemistry is a branch of a science related with the knowledge of composition structure and properties of matter here again matter and uh, we know very well about matter what is matter yeah whatever things is uh, occupy the space that is called matter we know very well we have already learned in the our previous standard 10th standard it's a very uh, easy but chemistry is a branch of a science related to with uh, the knowledge of composition structure and properties of matter it's also known as a science of atoms, molecules, because the matter is made up of atoms and molecules. Yeah, exactly. It is also known as science of atoms and molecules, because matter is made up of atoms and molecules. We know that. Therefore, uh, these are related with the mass of matter and for the convenience of quantitative analysis. If the, any, any of the analysis, the quantitative analysis, for quantitative analysis, the mass is a mass of matter is a very much important and through that you can identify you can analyze analyze and everything uh, the measurement of chemical substance is quantitatively based upon different units and their conversions in this chapter we'll discuss about these units of measurement and the conversion so uh, mainly things we are uh, learning over here is that so what is matter what is the type of matter what is the characteristic of matter uh, uh, then after the uh, different different laws of a Dalton's about the matter uh, and uh, uh, there are so many things as well we'll uh, see in the chapter in this chapter we'll discuss it now uh, importance of chemistry what is the importance of chemistry yeah there is so much thing, so many things is important. If you will be a doctor, then you have to give a drugs to your yeah, medicines. It's a one, one kind of a, uh, drugs you have to give to your patients, and for that, the so chemistry is a part of that. So there are so many importance of a chemistry. The daily life depends upon the simple chemical substances, changes in environment such as a dyes, polymers, drugs, soaps, etc yeah fertilizers alloys metals detergents those all are the past the chemical reactions so the main things because of the chemistry those things can be possible chemistry ke hi karan ye possible ho raha hai it provides a way to meet these needs by different methods and it's a has to productions of a large amount of fertilizers pesticides insecticides life science drugs like a cisplatin and taxol yeah cisplatin and taxol and anti-cancerous and xydothamidine 
okay it's a has to its patient productions of uh, improve the quality conducting a uh, polymers optical fibers new materials having a specific magnetic optical and electrical properties such as superconductors it's clear from both discussions chemistry is a very important of our life and the chemistry is going on with a uh, protections of our environment that is called the green chemistry matlab chemistry ke with the help of chemistry chemistry ke use ke karan the environment will not be spoiled अगर एनवायरमेंट स्पॉइल नहीं होता है दोस्त केमिस्ट्री केमिस्ट्री स्पॉइल द ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री सो दैट्स इट फॉर इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ केमिस्ट्री आई होप यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट आर मैनी डिफरेंट थिंग्स इज आर आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ दैट एंड वी नो दैट यू नो द मिल्क कर्ड फ्रॉम मिल्क इट्स आल्सो बिकॉज ऑफ द लेक्टोबैसिलस बैक्टीरिया द केमिकल रिएक्शंस विल बी देयर एंड आल्सो फॉर दैट द हाई टेंपरेचर इज देयर देन इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इजीली yeah so one uh, questions for that if uh, will put milk in refrigerator then it will be converted in curd or not yeah this is for your just questions nothing else if will put a uh, milk out of sorry in the refrigerator agar hum milk ko refrigerator mein rakh rahe hai तो भाई वो कर्ड में कन्वर्ट होगा कि नहीं या देर इज क्वेश्चन फॉर यू फाइंड इट आउट एंड पुट इट इन माई कमेंट बॉक्स विल रिप्लाई नाउ नेक्स्ट नाइट या सिंपल थिंग्स या सब क्या आप एक ही चीज लेके आए वी नो ऑल एवरी अबाउट मैटर मैटर क्या है कैसा है इसके टाइप क्या है ब्ला 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 we can understand everything yeah but this is uh, you know duty for uh, my side i have to show you now matter means anything which occupy space matter jo hai space occupy karta hai usse mass hai okay presence that can be felt by our senses iski presence hum feel kar sakte that is also matter yeah so matter means anything which occupy space as mass presence we can uh, feel then that is called matter there are mainly two types of matter yeah mainly two types of matter physical classification and chemical classification by physically and chemically different different types of matter we'll see firstly of uh, physically so we know that physically there are three types of matter yeah solid liquid and gas by physical structure you can see you can say like that ki physical structure ke बेस पे मतलब फिजिकल स्ट्रक्चर के बेस पे हम मैटर uh, के तीन टाइप्स निकालते हैं सॉलिड लिक्विड और गैस सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस सॉलिड दैट पार्टिकल्स दैट मोलिक्यूल्स वे आर टाइटली विथ इच अदर दे हैव मोर एट्रैक्शन फोर्सेस बिटवीन दैम या देर वाले इंटरमोलिकुलर एट्रैक्शन फोर्स आर मोर इंटरमोलिकुलर स्पेस आर वेरी मच लेस इट्स इनकम्प्रेसिबल उसे हम कंप्रेस नहीं कर सकते comparatively solid the liquid they have the molecules have the space between them intermolecular attraction force is less and the intermolecular spaces between them is good and then com comparatively liquid to gas liquid in comparison may gas ke molecules they molecules intermolecular there is no intermolecular space between them liquid can flow yeah because because they have a more space comparatively solid they can compress yeah they can compress and gas They are more compressible. We know that the LPG liquefied petroleum gas in our uh, bottle. If you are using the gas pipeline, so I don't think you have. Uh, but uh, you can see the gas cylinder. In the gas cylinder, the, the, with the help of the more most of the pressure, with the most of the pressure, the gas is compressed, and then it will be converted into liquid. Whenever you open the cog of your gas drum, then it will be converted. in gaseous bit atmospheric pressure what is the pressure of atmosphere yeah one atmosphere yeah one atmosphere se zyada pressure mein pressurize karte hai pressurize karne se kya karte hai wo liquid mein convert hota hai but jab aap open karte ho to wo andar jo gas cylinder mein tha to one pressure one atmosphere pressure se zyada pressure tha to wo liquid form mein tha bahar aaya by one bar pressure hai one atmosphere pressure hai to wo liquid mein se gas mein convert ho jata hai hai na agar nahi hota to kya hota 
अगर कॉक ओपन करते हो लिक्विड में ही रहता बाहर आता तो इट विल बी लाइक फाउंटेन यार यार पानी का जो फाउंटेन होता है वैसे इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू गैस बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेशर इज रिलीज एंड व्हेन व्हेन एवर प्रेशर इज रिलीज द गैसेस मॉलिक्यूल्स इज स्प्रेड इट आउट या सो लिक्विड कैन फ्लो सो लिक्विड नॉट बी फ्लो गैस कैन स्प्रेड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस क्रिकेटरी स्ट्रेट या यू नो वेरी वेल अबाउट दैट वी आर जस्ट टाइम पास एनीवे uh by the chemical classification here mainly two types uh, for that the first one yeah first one is a pure substance and the second one is a mixture first one is a pure substance the second one is a mixture pure substances mein aayenge pehla element and compound ha huh. pure substances mein hoge एलिमेंट्स एंड कंपाउंड्स, एलिमेंट्स एंड कंपाउंड्स। तो एलिमेंट्स जो होते हैं वन काइंड ऑफ एलिमेंट एटम्स होते हैं मतलब एलिमेंट जो है वो द बंच ऑफ वन टाइप्स ऑफ एटम ग्रुप ऑफ एटम्स इट वन टाइप ऑफ इट नॉट बी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ दैट इज कॉल एलिमेंट दैट इज प्योर इन प्योर फॉर्म है ना मेटल्स जो है नॉन मेटल्स है मेटलोइड्स है नॉबल गैसेस है दो सार इन प्योर फॉर्म सो दैट इज कॉल yeah that is called element the compound compound two or more elements in a definite proportion two or more elements in a definite proportion for compound we can say like that the one of the uh, you know might be you know that and i don't think you know or not but you know, if a plus b sorry it's not easy for me but i'm just trying a plus b it gives c yeah a plus b it gives c that is called compound yeah a types of a substance b types of a substance combine with each other and form c i hmm? am going to add a definite proportion of type a substance combine with the finite proportions of type b substance and form c that is called compound ha na two or more than two types of substance combine with each other with fixed proportion the finite proportion and form compound in which lose their own property wo apni khud ki property lose kar dete hain for example One mole of H two and half mole of O two will form the H two O. Yeah, we can say like the two gram of hydrogen, sixteen gram of oxygen form eighteen gram of water. Here, hydrogen used for explosive materials. Yeah, explo explosive materials. बनाने के लिए hydrogen का use होता है. Oxygen required for combustion. Oxygen combustion के लिए required है. But जो water बनता है, वो क्या है? Fire extinguisher है. वो क्या है? Fire extinguisher. so hydrogen combined with oxygen with a fixed proportions instead of a 16 gram you will get a 32 gram of oxygen then as to 32 gram of oxygen so you will get hydrogen peroxide you will double the proportions of the oxygen the compound is different so for you want a specific compound the specific proportion is required low of constant proportions ahead आगे आ रहा है लो ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट प्रोपोर्शन नथिंग एज जस्ट लाइक डेफिनेशन ऑफ कंपाउंड वी कैन सी लाइक दैट हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन कंबाइंड विथ इच अदर इज अ फिक्स प्रोपोर्शन देन फॉर्म वाटर बट विच फिर फिक्स प्रोपोर्शन टू ग्राम सिक्सटीन ग्राम इंस्टेड ऑफ सिक्सटी ग्राम यूर गेट थर्टी टू ग्राम देन इट विल बी डिफरेंट क्या आएगा हाइड्रोजन परऑक्साइड हाइड्रोजन यूज फॉर एक्सप्लोजिव मटेरियल्स ऑक्सीजन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कम्बशन मतलब दोनों जस्ट लाइक अ बॉम्बार्डिंग टाइप का करेक्टरिस्टिक है हाइड्रोजन और ऑक्सीजन का इंडिविजुअली बट वो कम्बाइन होकर जब वाटर फॉर्म करते हैं तो उससे टोचली अपोजिट करेक्टरिस्टिक पाते हैं कि भाई वो क्या होते हैं आग को बुझाने के लिए पानी यूज होता है सो दैट इज द मेन थिंग्स होमोजीनियस एंड हाइड्रोजीनियस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ अ कंपाउंड सब इस अदर अदर आगे आएगा लेकिन मेनली द मेन डेफिनेशंस फॉर दैट टू और मोर देन टू टाइप्स ऑफ सब्सटेंस कंबाइन विथ इच अदर विथ फिक्स प्रोपोर्शन 
and they lose their own property new form new property substance that is called compound and the mixtures we can uh, write like this way Ki a plus b form yeah, sorry for that it's not easy for me again a b yeah yeah you can read it a plus b it gives a b a plus b it gives a b Mandar, two or more than two types of substance they are mixed with each other with any of the proportions the proportion is not required for that and from a b here you can see over there i am writing a as well as b also in the product ah, yeah product yeah that is a product so left hand side the reactant right hand side product so product may a b hai or b b hai Matlab, two or more than two types of a substance mixed with each other and form mixtures for that the proportion is not required and they remain their own property they remain their own property and one more thing is that we can differentiate yeah separate it out by the use of any the physical matter koi bhi physical matter se apne use use separate it out kar sakte for example uh, if we are taking uh, 50 uh, ml of water and pour the you know 10 gram of sand 50 ml of water 10 gram of sand instead of uh, you can take the thousand ml of water 500 gram of sand the both the cases you can say it's just a mixture of sand and water and by the usage uh, method of the filtration you can separate it out so mixture is nothing else two or more than two types of uh, mixture two type of substance mixed with each other and they remain there on property that is called mixture compound definite proportion hona chahiye apni property lose karta hai aur koi chemical method se hi usse separate it out kiya jata hai bhai pani ko filter karke usme se hydrogen aur oxygen ko nikala nahi jata hai to physical ya chemical chemical method hi chahiye ki hope uh, you can understand these things so very well yeah next those are the definitions here over here nothing else pure substances a pure substance is a homogeneous only one kind of a substance in the nature which has a definite set of a property like a fe sulfur oxygen phosphorus aluminium whatever elements you know, you know that Oh, pure substance that is called the pure substance element it consists of one kind of atoms yeah it consists of one kind of atom so ek type ke atoms hote hai bhai hmm yes that's the main things it can't be a broken into two or more than simple form oh broke nahi kiye jate tote nahi hai yeah except nuclear reactions only nuclear reaction may be possible hai Radioactive elements so hai, wo can be prepared by the artificially by nuclear reaction, the nuclear reactors, the bombarding of neutrons, and the, you know there are so many radioactive elements will be yeah, in the nuclear chemistry. We learn about that, forget it about it. Yeah. So, nothing else, just an exception is over here for elements. So, except nuclear reactions, radioactive elements can be prepared the artificially by the nuclear reactions. Yeah, उसे उसको उसका nucleus तोड़ दिया जाता है, बमबारे किया जाता है, then after the new elements will be formed. Anyway, the radioactive elements can be prepared artificially by nuclear reaction. Otherwise, the elements are some type of one kinds uh, of atoms. Atoms is the smallest particles. Yeah, it's the smallest particles that takes a part in a chemical reactions. वो जो smallest particle है, वो chemical reaction में part लेता है. Yeah, chemical reaction में part लेता है. Smallest part. It may or may not be a capable free existence. It depends upon the elements. Which element ka atom hai bhai? Us pe depend karta hai ki wo free existence mein rehta hai, reh sakta hai ki nahi reh sakta hai. So later on we'll have a study about that. But now, till now, atom is the smallest particle of element. Element ka smallest particle sir. 
वो सब एलिमेंट्स की सारी प्रॉपर्टी शो करता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोडियम की मैं बात करूँ अगर अपने सोडियम लेते हैं सोडियम का छोटे से छोटा हाँ छोटे से छोटा पार्टिकल की अगर आप लेते हो यू पोर इन द लिक्विड दैट विल बी ब्लास्ट सो इट्स द स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ एन एलिमेंट दैट टेक्स पार्ट इन अ केमिकल रिएक्शन मे और मे नॉट बी कैपेबल ऑफ फ्री एक्सिस्टेंस फ्री एक्सिस्टेंस में हो भी सकता है और नहीं भी सकता है डिपेंड्स ऑन द एलिमेंट्स कौन से एलिमेंट की बात कर रहे हैं मलिक्यूल्स इज द स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ अ कंपाउंड ये हाँ 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 याद करो भाई अभी हमने कंपाउंड का डेफिनेशन पढ़ा शोर मोर देन टू टाइप्स ऑफ सब्सटन कंबाइन विथ इच अदर इन द फिक्स प्रपोर्शन एंड फॉर्म अ कंपाउंड इन बेस दे डजन या दे लूज दैट इन प्रॉपर्टी फॉर्म्स न्यू प्रॉपर्टी सब्सटन तो अगर मैं एच टू ओ हाइड्रोजन और ऑक्सीजन बना के एच टू ओ बनाता हूँ तो वो कंपाउंड हो गया अभी वो एच टू ओ कॉम्बिनेशन फॉर्म में है एच टू ओ जो है वो एच टू ओ का स्मॉलेट से स्मॉलेस्ट पार्ट भी मैं रहूंगा लूंगा तो भी क्या आएगा छोटा सा एच टू ओ ही आएगा मतलब कि मोलिक्यूल क्या है स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ कंपाउंड क्योंकि कंपाउंड जो है वो कोई एक एलिमेंट का बना हुआ नहीं होता है वो टू और मोर देन टू टाइप्स ऑफ एलिमेंट्स का ही बना हुआ होता है तो स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल्स ऑफ कंपाउंड दैट इज कॉल मोलिक्यूल्स कंपाउंड दैट इज कैपेबल ऑफ फ्री एग्जिस्टेंस वो फ्री होते हैं फ्री एग्जिस्टेंस पर रहते हैं क्योंकि उनकी जो रिक्वायरमेंट है वो कंप्लीट हो चुकी होती है आई विल लर्न अबाउट लेटर या सर एवरीथिंग विल लर्न अबाउट या बट इट्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट्स इट विल आउट ऑफ ट्रैक दैन इट विल गॉट विल नॉट कम्प्लीट दिस चैप्टर एनी वे कंपाउंड्स कंपाउंड्स इन अ प्योर सर्चर्स विच इज मेड ऑफ अ ट्यू और मोर एलिमेंट्स यू कैन सी हियर वॉट इज दिस या प्योर सर्चर्स विच इज मेड ऑफ ऑफ अ ट्यू और मोर एलिमेंट्स when they are chemically combined chemically combined in a fixed ratio you can see over here dear fixed ratio i marks this ka fixed ratio hona chahiye these are three types of compounds as a base and salts so, aise bhi ho sakta hai base bhi ho sakta hai and salts bhi ho sakta hai so i think you can understand about that the pure what is a pure substance what is elements and atoms molecules and compounds Yeah, whenever you learns from me, then just try to uh, keep the each and every definitions uh, during the lecture. Just presence of your mind over here. If your mind will be present over here, then hundred percent you will achieve everything, and you will grasp over here so many things that it doesn't require to uh, more homework. Anyway, we'll go next slide. measurement in chemistry yep. measurement in chemistry yeah what is measurement yeah this word what is measurement think over it what is measurement measurement ke liye kya chahiye bhai apne bolte hai ki 1 kg of potato hmm 10 kg of potato so that is a such a quantity for so fixed quantity for that for measurement and for that because of that you can understand by 1 kg potato ke liye kitna chahiye 10 kg potato ke liye kitna aapko chahiye yes and 100 kg ke liye kitna chahiye so that will be uh, you'll get the idea based on their unit so measurement 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 ke liye particular kya hota hai unit hota hai और वो यूनिट क्या होना चाहिए इट शुड बी एप्लीकेबल अराउंड चाहे द यूनिवर्स इज फिक्स फिक्स होना चाहिए पूरे यूनिवर्स में मेजरमेंट का यूनिट जो है वो क्या होना चाहिए भैया फिक्स होना चाहिए यस सो मेजरमेंट इन केमिस्ट्री मेजरमेंट इन केमिस्ट्री मेजरमेंट इज अ कंपेरिजन ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द ऑब्जर्व प्रॉपर्टी विद यूनिट ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी ऑब्जर्व प्रॉपर्टी विद द यूनिट ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी कंसिस्ट मेनली टू थिंग्स होती है एक क्या होता है नंबर होता है टेन किलोग्राम टेन किलोग्राम टेन नंबर किलोग्राम यूनिट एक्जैक्टली सेवन पॉइंट नाइन किलोग्राम सेवन पॉइंट नाइन इज अ नंबर एंड किलोग्राम इज अ यूनिट सो यूनिट इज ए फिक्स मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी यूनिट जो है वो क्या है फिक्स मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी विच इज एक्सेप्टेड बाई अ साइंटिस्ट एज अ स्टैंडर्ड 
वो स्टैंडर्ड है हाँ किलोग्राम वो यूनिट है किलोग्राम वो यूनिट है लेकिन वन किलोग्राम वन किलोग्राम में कितना मैग्नीट्यूड आएगा कितना मास आएगा कितने मास को वन किलोग्राम बोलते हैं इट्स ऑलरेडी एक्सेप्टेड बाय अ साइंटिस्ट एज अ स्टैंडर्ड वो स्टैंडर्ड कोई स्टैंडर्ड पोजिशन में उसे आपको एक स्टैंडर्ड कोई चीज़ लेके उसे फाइंड आउट फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मैं ले लूँ कि भाई चलो चलिए देखते हैं थोड़ा उसके सपोज ये सर्कल जो है हाँ ये सर्कल इसे मैंने वन यूनिट बोल दिया अब ये सर्कल है ना ये सर्कल पर्टिकुलर ये जो पूरा बड़ा सर्कल है उसमें ऐसे छोटे छोटे टेन सर्कल आएंगे वन टू थ्री ये टेन समझ लेना टेन सर्कल आते हैं मतलब क्या होगा इसका यूनिट वन है वन यूनिट है उसका मास वन यूनिट है लेकिन इसका टेन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ये वन यूनिट मतलब इसके जैसे टेन यूनिट इसमें आते हैं मतलब ये स्टैंडर्ड है है ना तो बाय साइंटिस्ट एक्सेप्टेड बाय साइंटिस्ट एज स्टैंडर्ड कोई स्टैंडर्ड होना चाहिए वन यूनिट तो वो नंबर जो है वो फिक्स स्टैंडर्ड लीजिए बोल दिया गया है होता है कि भाई चलो ये पर्टिकुलर ये जो स्टोन है उसे वन किलोग्राम कंसिडर कर लो और वो स्टोन हाँ उसके जैसे हंड्रेड स्टोन रखते हैं तो पर्टिकुलर कोई एक थिंग कोई एक चीज़ है उसका मेजरमेंट होता है तो उसका मेजरमेंट क्या हुआ हंड्रेड स्टोन ऑफ दिस टू हंड्रेड स्टोन ऑफ दिस सो हियर द यूनिट फिक्सड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी विच इज एक्सेप्टेड बाई साइंटिस्ट एज स्टैंडर्ड and the system of the unit used these days is called the international system of unit or si unit some of the physical quantities which is independent of other physical quantity thodi bahut jo physical quantity jo hai wo independent hai a physics mein bhi ye padhne wale ho physical some of the physical quantities which are independent wo independent hai wo dusri physical quantity pe depend nahi karti hai wo independent hai उससे बेसिक यूनिट बोलते हैं उसे फंडामेंटल यूनिट बोलते हैं और उससे जो आते हैं वो डिराइव यूनिट आते हैं मतलब वो बेसिक यूनिट में से नए जो यूनिट डिराइव होते हैं उसे डिराइव यूनिट बोलते हैं तो डिराइव फ्रॉम बेसिक यूनिट बेसिक यूनिट में से डिराइव यूनिट आते हैं तो अल्टीमेटली वॉट इज दूनिट्स यूनिट्स ऐसा यूनिट द सिस्टम द इंटरनेशनल सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिट्स दैट इज कॉल्ड ऐसा यूनिट्स और जो फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी जो है स्मॉल द फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी वो दूसरी फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी से इंडिपेंडेंट है वो डिपेंड इंडिपेंडेंट है किसी पर डिपेंड नहीं है कि चलो ये ये चेंज होगा इंडिपेंडेंट और डिपेंड का मतलब क्या है डिपेंड मतलब इंडिपेंडेंट बिकॉज ऑफ द एनिमल विल नॉट चेंज अवर स्टेटमेंट दैट इज कॉल्ड द इंडिपेंडेंट नेचर बट बिकॉज ऑफ अवर कलीग या अवर फ्रेंड्स अवर स्टेटमेंट विल बी चेंज दैन वी आर इंडिपेंडेंट फॉर दैन तो इंडिपेंडेंट मतलब हम कोई भी स्टेटमेंट जो होता है वो किसी भी कारण चेंज नहीं होता है तो वो क्या है इंडिपेंडेंट है कोई भी क्वांटिटी है बिकॉज ऑफ द अदर क्वांटिटी कोई भी क्वांटिटी बिकॉज ऑफ द अदर क्वांटिटी अगर चेंज नहीं होती है वो फिजिकल क्वांटिटी चेंज नहीं होती है तो वो इंडिपेंडेंट है अगर चेंज हो जाती है तो डिपेंडेंट है तो यहाँ पे ऐसी सेवन क्वान्टिटी है जो इंडिपेंडेंट है कौन सी है आते देखते हैं that you have to learn which are then nothing else to get here here the basic uh, physical quantity and there are si units here the quantity length uska unit jo hai wo meter hai uska symbol hai small m mass ke liye kilogram hai kg time ke liye second hai s electric current ampere mein hota hai capital a temperature jo kelvin mein consider karte hai k luminous intensity iv jo hai candela सी डी अमाउंट ऑफ सब्सटेंस मोल में कंसिडर किया है मोल ठीक है सो दो हज़ार या मोल को अपने स्मॉल एन से भी डिनोट करते हैं कभी कभी सो बेसिक फंडामेंटल फिजिकल क्वान्टिटीज एंड दैट यूनिट्स आर देस सो होप फ्रेंड्स यू लर्न सम थिंग्स फ्रॉम माई मी इफ यू लाइक दैन लाइक दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब इट and if you have any doubt and you can you can write uh, in the below comment box and you can ask any of the questions regarding this chapter only guys
yeah first is the chapters and then later on i'll post more and more videos but for that till that if you have any doubts then write it down in uh, comment box and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe bye goodbye have a good day jai bharat jai hind